Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we got a glimpse of the file-based routing feature in SvelteKit. We learned that the page.svelte file within the routes folder corresponds to the domain root and that page.svelte file within subfolders are associated with a route based on the folder name, like about and profile. In this video, let's understand how to work with nested routes. So for our scenario number three, we want a swell page to be rendered when the user navigates to the URL localhost 5173 slash blog. However, we also need a page to be rendered when the user visits 5173 slash blog slash first and another route when the user visits 5173 slash blog slash second. Let's see how to achieve this with the file-based routing mechanism. In the routes folder, I'm going to create a new folder called blog. Within the folder, I'm going to create a plus page.svelte file. Within the file, I'm going to add an h1 tag, my blog. If you now save the file, head back to the browser and navigate to slash blog we see the blog page as expected. So the first part of scenario three is done. However, the question now is how do we implement slash blog slash first and slash blog slash second, which can be described as nested routes? Well, worry not because SwellKit makes it really simple to implement nested routes by simply nesting folders inside the routes folder. So back in VS Code, within the routes folder, within the block folder, let's create two new folders called first and second. Within each folder, let's create a new page.svelte file. Plus page.svelte. And once again, plus page.svelte. Within each file, let's add an h1 tag. First blog post and second blog post. Let's save both the files and head back to the browser. If you now navigate to localhost 5173 slash blog slash first, we see the first blog post and if I navigate to slash blog slash second, we see the second blog post. Our scenario three has been implemented. So the point to keep in mind is that if you create a nested folder structure, files will be automatically routed in the same way in the URL. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at dynamic routes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.